you don't know anything about boat. Hey guys, so I was gonna do a quick video today different. showing you my intro cinder. I thought I'd do a quick video on that. I use a different so one for my for the top of the platform. But really Hi right, guys, we're gonna do a little review on these, an in-season review. So, full disclosure, last season I shot one doe with these. First doe of the season I shot with them. These are the Striker V2s, G5 Striker V2s, the 100 grain. I shot one doe with them and I was kind of upset. This is my first, I haven't done a lot of archery hunting. This is only my second archery season, but I was kind of upset that the one doe and it just rippled all the edges on the blades the blades were toast the way it went in it hit a whole lot of bone on that deer and so i mean it is what it is i bought a set of replacement blades you can get a set of replacement blades for these for like 18 bucks on amazon i bought mine cheaper than that at sportsman's warehouse on sale and uh i think they're like 12 bucks for a set of nine blades that replaces the blades on all three heads that you get when you buy a set of these a set of three of these you can get anywhere from 35 to 40 bucks depending on where you buy them but the new blades when you get a new set of blades these are not new this is this broadhead this one particular broadhead has been through the deer i shot last year and then three deer this year this one broadhead now what i wanted to show you the blades on it right now i've got to replace i'm out of replacement blades i've got to buy a set i actually lost one of these this year which sucks i couldn't find the arrow but this one this is the one that has killed three deer this season one deer last season the tip on this thing on the ferrule is absolutely perfect it's been through three three shoulders <laughs> it's been completely through three three shoulders a shoulder three times on a deer and then out the other side every one of these that i've killed so three out of the four deer i've killed with these broadheads has been a full pass through one of them was not but it it was a bad shot it went in actually right behind the rear leg on the deer and it it broke it completely busted the rear i don't know what you would call it the rear shoulder it's not a shoulder, but I mean the one on the rear, the big bone on the rear with the back leg on the deer. It busted it, but it just didn't have enough oomph to get all the way through the deer. So it left probably about that much of the arrow, four or five inches hanging out of the deer. And he ended up somehow or another kicking the whole arrow out. It tripped me out. But anyways, these broadheads, the G5 Striker V2 is 100 grain. They're freaking awesome. Like I said, now you shoot a deer, you're going to replace the blades pretty much every deer. If you miss a deer, the, um, so I missed a shot. I found out my crossbow was off the other day. I completely missed the deer altogether, buried it up in the mud. You miss one, the blades are toast. I mean, they run it. I got another one over here that just ran into the dirt. It ran into the dirt. The blades are so dull. I would not shoot it at another deer just out of, I want mine to be as sharp as possible so it just blows right through the deer, no problem. I mean, they're not... They're just not sharp enough. I wouldn't shoot this at a deer. It's not it's not an ethical decision. But, I mean, like I said, that one was just buried up in the mud just from a miss. But other than the blades being shot, the ferrule's perfect. Like I said, this one has been through all those shoulders and bone, and the ferrule on it is 100% perfect. You can put it on an arrow right now, and it'll spin 100% true. It's great. These broad heads are freaking awesome. When the new blades... When you got a new set of blades on them, it will blow through a deer so fast. It's, I mean, it's a full pass through. You're not stopping it. I have one, the first deer I shot with it this year was a seven pointer. It went in through the, I've got a video on my channel. It actually shows the damage it did to the deer, but it went in through the side, kind of high, blew through the lungs, got part of the heart, and it blew completely out the shoulder on the other side. I mean, it left a hole like that on the shoulder going out that was after it had already been through the whole deer it had done went in one side went passed through the whole body cavity and out the other side 
and still blew a hole that big, plumbed through the shoulder and buried six or seven inches up into the mud after that. So that's my, <laughs> where I'm at. I'm, I'm gonna keep buying replacement blades for them because they're just, they're super crazy sharp and they will blow right through a deer. So I'll probably actually end up buying another set of those broadheads too, a new set of the broadheads because they do fly so good out of my crossbow. And uh, I just really, really like them. I just gonna give you guys a little update on, on where I was at on broadheads. And I haven't done a review on the, the G5 Striker V2 since I got them. And uh, I figured I would just let you guys know how they work. Uh, catch you on the next one.